Hello, welcome to the IACAC virtual college fair. We are super excited to have you here. Um, Let's see here, getting everything set up. So my name is Jay and I am your facilitator for the day. And we are going to have six great schools present some awesome things for you here. Um, and just thank you for joining us. We are super excited. As you can see at the bottom, there should be a Q&A button that you see down there. And you can type questions to any of our presenters at any time. So if you miss something from the presentation or you have a burning question, feel free to put that in there. Um, your camera and your microphone are off, so we cannot hear you, we cannot see you, um, all that is good, but you can definitely see us here, hopefully, and you can see my screen. Um, this is just one of many sessions as well, so feel free to register for more sessions to learn about more colleges in addition to the six that you are going to learn about tonight. And this presentation is being recorded. So within about a week, you'll be able to go back to where you registered for this and get the recording in case there's anything that you missed or you wanna follow back up, get some good information. Um, so now what I'm going to do here is pass it along to Alverno College and stop sharing here. And uh, let's Alverno College, go ahead and bring your screen on up and you can share and get us going. All right, thank you so much. Let me get to my presentation. Let's share it. Um, all right, so my name is Martha Chavarria and I am a bilingual admissions counselor at Alverno College. Um, as you can see here, we have a beautiful campus. We are located on the south side of Milwaukee. Um, so we're not too, um, so if you're traveling from Illinois, we're on the south side, you don't actually have to pass downtown to get to us. So I always say we're just right off the expressway. Um, we are an all women's college. Um, a lot of students like coming to our school because it is a smaller school. For our undergrad program, we have about 1,100 students and we do have um, a master's program, graduate programs um, that is co-ed. Um, but a lot of uh, students like coming to us because of that uh, small uh, school atmosphere. Um, so at a glance, again, because we're small, we're going to have uh, small class sizes. Um, the student to faculty ratio starting out as a freshman is about 15 students to one professor. Um, and then 50% of the student body are women of color and then 72% are first generation students. Um, we are one of the first Hispanic serving institutions in the state of Wisconsin. So what that means is 25% of our um, students are Hispanic and how that benefits everyone is we get additional funding so we can like roll out additional programs that everyone benefits from. We are, we do have three, er uh, sorry not three, 30 majors and then when you combine our minors we're really looking at about 60 um, different majors and minors and then we're assessment-based curriculum so we don't have letter grades. A lot of um, how, how the students are graded is more by feedback from their professors. So they're gonna get a lot of hands-on experience. One of the things um, later on, um, um, well, I'll mention it now, um, in order to graduate, all the students must uh, complete an internship. So it's again, really hands-on. We are a Catholic institution. You do not have to be Catholic to attend. Um, we have about 30 different denominations that are, are represented on campus. Um, but one of our missions is that Franciscan um, value. We really are about giving back, educating and serving the community. Um, and depending on you know, where you are in high school right now, if you're planning on um, applying for like 2022, 2023 school year. One of our major um, scholarships is called the Eleanor Roosevelt. And what that has to do with is about giving back to the community and what you've done in your community, whether it's, you know, in school or outside of school. So we, you know, kind of roll that out in many different ways. We have community days where we volunteer. So yeah, it's really about giving back. And then going where I was saying we have the unique curriculum, since we don't have other grades, um, everything as um, in the classroom and throughout campus, you'll notice we'll always have our eight abilities. So what it means is not what each class is gonna have touch upon these you know, topics, but throughout the experience and throughout the time that a student spends at Alberno, they'll touch on that. And it's just you know building on the foundation of getting that overall college um, 
education experience. Um, so, you know, communication analysis problems, I mean, those things, you'll learn those. Um, and then it's just um, different ways that they're rolled out throughout the curriculum, since it's not focused on the letter grades. And then going back, so here's our 60 areas of study. A lot of students love coming to Alberta for different majors. I would say the ones that we listed here are the most popular ones. Um, as of right now, um, we don't have any deadlines, so you can still apply. Um, we are test optional if you're interested in um, you know, starting next year, even the year after that. The only major that uh, is not test optional at the moment is for nursing. So we would still need like an ACT score or SAT score uh, for that. Um, but yeah, and then even starting off college, if you're an undecided, we definitely have a career studio and then we have faculty and staff that will help a student, you know, walk through that and what that looks like. Move on. And then living on campus, we do have dorms. We actually have two dorms. Um, we have different areas um, where you can study, hang out. It's free parking. Uh, for students that are living on campus, there's laundry on site. We do have a shuttle service. And then of course, Hudson is like our cafeteria, things like that. And then we have our A store. All right, and then financial aid. Our last thing is we do offer scholarships based on a student's uh, GPA. So as of right now, again, we are test optional. If you happen to um, submit an ACT or an AC, ACT or SAT, we will look at both, but those merit scholarships are earned. A student gets those for four years, um, as long as they attend full time. And then of course, filling out for FAFSA, um, there's you know additional grants and uh, aid. And then out-of-state students also get an additional grant called the MOSA scholarship. It's basically a housing grant. So that's an extra perk for out-of-state students. And then of course, um, our office, our financial aid office goes through, you know, student loans. And then all students are, um, every office employs students. So you can always, you know, work on campus. So I am... That's actually my last slide. Um, a few things to mention. We do have a sports at our on campus. A lot of people kind of don't think that we do, but we are a division three. So we don't offer scholarships for sports, but we do definitely have them. Um, if we go on our webpage and I can share that, um, there's you know basketball, there's softball, there's track, there's volleyball and then soccer. So they're definitely, um, an opportunity to play sports if that is something that you are also interested in. Awesome, thank you so much, Martha. We appreciate your time here. Stop sharing. And I am going to bring up uh, Marion University. Go ahead and take it away for us. Hey everyone, my name is Jordan. Uh, let me share my screen with you real quick. Uh, so I'm from Marion University. Uh, we're located in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. That's about a Half hour, about an hour and a half from Milwaukee, uh, about an hour from Green Bay, about an hour from uh, Sheboygan, uh, about an hour and a half from Madison. So we're right in the middle of everything, the way I have to tell you. So about a little bit about us. We were founded in 19, uh, 1936 uh, by the Sisters of St. Agnes. Uh, we are a Catholic institution. Uh, you don't have to be Catholic to attend Marion. Uh, but that is something that we do give scholarships for if you attended a Catholic high school or if you are a part of the Catholic church. Uh, we do have about 1,200 undergrad students, well, for, a little bit over 40 majors to choose from, uh, which is an 11 to 1 faculty to student ratio. Uh, that's super beneficial to you as a student for the simple fact that you're going to get to know your professors. A lot of our professors are going to give out their phone numbers uh, so you can call them, text them, and just see like if, if you have a question about something in class, you can always text them and just be like, hey, what's going on? And, and they're going to get back to you. They're going to get to know you on a personal level, which is super nice. Uh, just like Alverno, we are Division Three athletics, uh, so we don't give athletic scholarships, uh, but we do have a lot, of, uh, athlete, um, a lot of sports to choose from. And so that's something to think about as well. Uh, so a little bit about us for academics. Uh, we are direct entry into our programs. Uh, so we do have a nursing program, a rad tech program, sonography program. Um, those are all going to be direct entry. Uh, every program at Marion were direct entry. So what that is, we're going to get you in right away. 
uh, all you have to do is if you're going into nursing, rad tech, uh, sonography, you're going to have to keep a 3.0 GPA. Uh, but if you can keep a 3.0 GPA, you're going to stay in that program. Uh, you're also going to have to have a CNA if you're going to go into those programs. But any other program, all you do is you just show up and tell us that's the program you want to be in and you're in. Uh, we are a test optional for admissions. Um, we did this just for with COVID. A lot of students are having issues getting the ACT score and the, and the SAT. Uh, so we are test optional. Uh, you guys can apply online. At the end of my slide, I'm going to have like a QR code. You guys can scan. Uh, it will take us take you to the FAST app, a FAST app we created uh, for students. Uh, it takes less than five minutes to apply. Uh, we do have an Excel program at Marion. Uh, what that is, is for students that uh, with COVID, we know that it, it took a toll on, on, on all students. Um, so we decided to have an Excel program for those students that might have struggled in class, uh, didn't get the grades that they wanted to get. Uh, so then we can still get you admitted into Marion. Uh, you're going to be in a program to help you succeed in the future. Uh, as you can see, we have this broken down into majors. 47% of the students come to us for health professions and sciences, uh, and 16% for business, 7% for criminal justice, and forensic science. So we are affordable here at Marion. Uh, so we do have scholarships for students. A 3.5 GPA or higher, you're going to get a $15,000 scholarship every single year. Uh, as you can see, it just breaks it down from there. Uh, and then with that Catholic high school partnership, like I talked about a little bit, that's an $11,000 scholarship. Uh, the only thing is, is if you do that, uh, you, you're not able to get that 12. If you get a 12,000 or the 15,000, that's what you'd be awarded. Uh, so the 11,000 would be for a student that has a 2.5 um, or 2.79 or lower, basically. Uh, so 99% of our students receive aid, uh, and we are the lowest net tuition private uh, college and university in Wisconsin. Uh, so this is just stuff to help you as students. Uh, we do have an externship program, which is a week-long job shadow. We like to do a lot of hands-on learning, so externship programs, internship programs. We have to get the students out into the community and help them figure out what they want to do in their, in their future. Uh, we have a learning and writing center on campus uh, with professors that are just up there in the learning and writing center to help these students transition into college. Uh, we are military friendly at Marion. We also have a trio and student support services uh, that, that's for the first year generation college student, uh, students with disabilities, things like that. We also have an honors program. The honors program is gonna be for students that have a 3.5 GPA or higher. Uh, they have their own little spot on campus that they can go do homework, hang out in. Uh, it's, it's super beneficial for them. A little bit about what we do at, at Marion, our Sabre Life. Uh, we have student organizations. Uh, something cool with our student organizations, every single major has their own student organization to go along with it. Some are more active than others, uh, but every major has their own organization. Uh, we have athletics. Uh, we do have a lot of turnout and fans that show up to games uh, because we are a smaller school. Everybody gets to know everybody. Uh, with our housing op options, we have two housing options for freshmen. Uh, you can either live in courtyards, which is more of an apartment style. Uh, there's six bedrooms, two bathrooms, or you can live in neighbor hall. Neighbor hall is going to be your traditional dorm style living. Uh, we do have a lot of campus events going on. Uh, with COVID, it's a little bit different, uh, but non-COVID years, uh, we, ha we have things going all the time on campus. Uh, we are a small school. We like to bring in a lot of the community. I uh, get those guys involved as well. Uh, we do have a mass every Sunday on campus that the community is invited to. This is just a little bit of contact information for me. Uh, again, my name is Jordan Johnson. Uh, you can call me, text me, you can email me. You can apply at marionuniversity.edu slash apply. Uh, and again, that QR code is for our FAST app. It takes roughly around three to four minutes to complete. Beautiful, thank you so much, Jordan. Appreciate thank your time you. there. I'm gonna move us on to our third presenter of the evening, Mount Mary University. Come on in. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Brianna Farrell. I am um, an admission counselor at Mount Mary University. Um, and I do work almost exclusively with students from Illinois. So if you are interested in Mount Mary, feel free uh, to contact me in the chat um, or with my contact information later. 
So a little bit more about Mount Mary. We are a small women's university located in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Uh, we have about 30 different bachelor's programs um, currently with 659 undergraduate women enrolled in those programs. We also offer seven master's programs as well as two doctoral programs. Um, and those are co-ed, which make our campus a little bit unique um, with 587 men and women currently enrolled in those programs as well. Since we have such um, a small undergraduate uh, student body, that really gives you a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with your faculty as well as your peers. So we don't have any um, lecture halls on campus. We physically cannot hold more than 34 students in our classrooms. Uh, so for some of those larger classes, like your um, introductory English and algebra uh, courses, you may be with some larger classes, uh, but no more than 34. Our average class size is about 12 students. Um, and I was just talking to a couple of seniors and they were telling me that their smallest class they had on campus was four students. So you really do get that one-on-one -on -one time with your peers in your program, as well as your faculty. Um, with that being said, our all of our classes are taught by all professors. We do not have any teaching assistants on campus either. So again, you get that one-on-one -on -one attention and you get to know your professors, not only inside the classroom, but outside the classroom as well. Uh, in addition to academics, um, we really want to focus on developing the whole person. Um, so in addition to you being a scholar, we also want to see what you can do for your community and what kind of professional you can be. Uh, so we have a huge focus on that. And one of the ways that we try to do that is through the Women's Leadership Institute. Uh, so this is an, um, a center on campus that works hard to bring in different uh, presenters and different on-campus events for our students, as well as for the community, um, and to bring in different female leaders um, across Milwaukee, across Wisconsin, across the country as well. Uh, and here, just their story um, and have them sit down with some of our students and talk about their tips um, and just ways that we can uh, expose our female students to these other women out here doing great things. In addition, we have about 25 different student clubs and organizations that really are are a wide variety of different student interests. Um, we have Arches, our student newspaper, all the way to Flow Club, which is our hula hooping club. Um, and those girls are so much cooler than me just hula hooping in the courtyard all day. Um, about 100%, about 100%, 100% of our students um, do receive a scholarship grant or reduced tuition. So we also work really hard to make uh, Mount Mary affordable for everyone. Uh, we're also an NCAA Division III school um, with about six different sports, um, which is a great way to stay active, meet new people on campus and um, travel when that's safe to do so again. Another thing that I like to mention is that we are a fairly diverse campus with 60% of our undergraduate students identifying as women of color. Um, we are also a Hispanic serving institute, uh, meaning that about 25% of our population identify as Hispanic, um, which again, uh, like Alverno said, um, gets, gives us access to um, some federal grants uh, and some additional money and programming for our students, uh, which is really beneficial for everyone. Uh, and one last thing um, that I just want to mention on this slide um, is that we have some really robust uh, study abroad programs on campus. One in five um, Mount Mary students will study abroad at some point. Um, and our director of international studies is so great at getting students abroad and getting them into the program that they want. Um, and she makes it a really easy process for everyone involved. Um, that is something that a lot of our students take part in, not only once, but several times uh, throughout their academic career. One resource that we have on campus um, is called the Promise Program. This is a trio program um, that supports first generation or limited income students. Um, so the Promise Program provides some additional assistance for uh, this population of students on campus. Um, including academic advising, career development, financial literacy, um, as well as uh, peer mentoring. So you will have another student who's been in the same um, you know, process uh, of being a first year or second year student um, who's there to kind of walk you through uh, what their experience was like and give you some, some tips. Um, so this Promise program is a, a great way for our first generation and limited income students to really seek out that additional assistance and support and really succeed at Mount Mary. 
so like I mentioned, Mount Mary is located in Milwaukee, but I always like to bring up this map to show students exactly where in Milwaukee um, we are located as this is a large city. Uh, so Mount Mary University is located on the northwest side of the city. Um, and we're in a little bit more of a residential neighborhood. We're right on the border of a suburb nearby. Uh, but with our location, we still have great access to everything that the city has to offer. Um, we're about a 15 minute drive to downtown or to the lakefront. Uh, so our students can have access to all of those fun things um, like the lakefront, like the Milwaukee Zoo or the art museum, the public market, things like that, as well as different internship opportunities and job opportunities uh, that you're looking for after uh, graduation. All right, and my final slide here um, is just about financial aid. Uh, Mount Mary does award merit scholarships to every student ranging between $13,000 to $19,000 based off of your GPA. Thank you, everyone. For, Thank you, for Brianna. Coming. Very much appreciate you and your time here today. Um, I'm going to hand it on over now to University of Wisconsin Platteville. Nicole, take it away. It is going to be Chris Kirkenbush. <laughs> Nicole is my counterpart, so she wasn't able to attend tonight. So I always like starting off with, you know, what we're like in person and what we're like when we don't have a Zoom meeting. So everybody needs a little bit of chuckle at this time. My name is Chris Kirkenbush. I'm a regional admission advisor with the University of Wisconsin Platteville. Um, we are really like to uh, give our students some of uh, an idea of where we're located. We are about one and a half hours from Madison. Chicago is going to be about a little over three and a half hours away. We are one of 13 schools in the UW system. UW Platteville is a public institution. So uh, we are uh, part of that big UW system. Student size is about 7,100 with about 500 students there for graduate. We are basically an undergraduate school. We do have graduates, but our focus is to get that education for those students who um, are coming to our school in various majors. 50 different majors with 76 different minors. We have our niches and I'll get into those uh, shortly. And our student to faculty ratio is 20 to one. All of our classes are taught by those professors. They're the experts in their field. Why not get them teaching? So no TAs or graduate assistants. Those professors are also going to be your academic advisors. So they're going to track through if you want to study abroad or have that internship um, on the horizon. They're going to help guide you through that process. So our theory is really learning by doing. So these are some examples uh, of our nanotechnology lab, as well as um, some commercial construction management labs as well. One area where we really thrive is agriculture. We are uh, one of three schools in the UW system. We have a dairy farm about four miles outside of campus. It's a big uh, driver of our economy in Wisconsin. So we help address those issues going on in the agriculture industry. Biology or medical track, these are some areas as well. Uh, our biology program does support students going into the science field and helps get internships as well. Other areas are business. We are the only school in uh, the UW system to have an entrepreneurship program so you can learn how to run your own business, whether it's a virtual or um, a retail establishment. We have the oldest criminal justice school program in the state of Wisconsin and the only crime scene house in the Midwest. So we have a unique forensic investigation program, either front end collecting the data or back end of laboratory. Pre-professional track as well. That's going to be anyone who's going on to school needs that undergrad, um, maybe going on to dentistry or chiropractor school. We have those tracks in place for these areas as well. Education, if you want to become a teacher, we have a rural collaborative uh, outreach focusing on those students and teachers in the rural communities. And then last but not least is our engineering program. This is what we are known for. Our philosophy is to get you those skill sets, both soft people skills, as well as critical uh, thinking skills, the presentation skills. That's what people like about our, um, our students coming out. Seven different areas of engineering. We are ABET accredited. Uh, we have a special uh, learning community just for women because women are not as well represented in this area. And then we have a new sesquicentennial hall coming on board with new maker space, uh, 10,000 square foot maker space, lab space, going to have uh, solar panels and arrays as well. Um, 
Industrial technology is also an area where you could look into that is going to be more of like building and construction management, running job sites, working with metals and trades. We do have distance ed. It, we were the first to offer it, but it is something that's there, but most of our students do participate uh, on campus. So something with our admission requirements, we're a holistic school. We're going to look at you as a whole. We're not going to look just on your GPA. We are ACT and SAT optional for the next two years. Application are also free with the UW system. We're going to look at your uh, volunteering, your academic activities, if you were a little more rigorous in your course selection as you got through college. So that's one aspect of our admission requirements. Tuition. Tri-State Initiative, for anyone in Illinois, you are going to fall under that Tri-State Initiative. It is a reduced tuition for Iowa and Illinois students. We're pretty proud of that because you are a bordering um, state. It can be a little bit less money even than some of the in-state schools. So room and board is average there, but uh, it is something that includes your books, which is very unique. So that's kind of a cost savings of about $1,000 a year. Financial aid and scholarships. We have quite a few one application for the new freshman scholarships and it funnels down and it applies to whatever major you are studying. Merit scholarships are based on your grade, grade point average and or your ACT or SAT if you choose to submit it. But uh, there are other scholarships as well. Chancellor scholarship, which is going to give you gives 10 students free tuition and fees for four years. So. Uh, that's a great opportunity. And then also we are part of Division Three Athletics, so no scholarships, but we have over 200 clubs and organizations. Uh, we have fun ones such as we have um, e-games and bass fishing. We have origami clubs. So we really suggest one professional and then also one fun club um, to get involved in. Residence halls. These are sports residence halls. There are 13 traditional, and then there are going to be some semi-suite. Um, it just depends on the amenities you want. If you want air conditioning, if you want a workout center, then you're going to have a little bit more uh, fees involved with that. And then different dining menus, lots of options, little stop and go shops, as well as pub style foods as well. Really focus on giving back uh, with our campus, Pioneer Provisions and Campus Walk. We modify toys to give to disabled children. So the engineering school takes part of that as well. And then we have those campus visits. So we do have virtual as well as on campus visits with limited capacity and some Saturday visits as well. Thank you for visiting us at UW Platteville. Awesome. Thank you so much, Chris. Really appreciate your time here. And now I'm going to ask Central Michigan University if you would go ahead and come on live here and uh, take over. Ezra, it's all you. Yes, yes. Good evening. Uh, my name is Ezra Johnson. I am representing Central Michigan uh, University, which is located in Mount Pleasant, Michigan. Um, uh, Central Michigan really has a lot of recruitment efforts in the state of Illinois and in Chicago, um, so much so that I actually reside in Chicago myself. So currently, um, I am located in downtown Chicago. Um, wish it wasn't COVID uh, or the major snow that we just got last night, uh, or else I would have the opportunity to be physically in your schools um, and accessible to you um, at, at all times. So let's go ahead and get started here. Here. All right, so Mount Pleasant University is um, what I would consider a mid-sized school. Um, so we have uh, about 18,000 students um, that are a part of our undergraduate and graduate uh, programs and also a part of our uh, medical school. We have a medical school um, on campus. Um, we have over 200 programs. Um, one of the things about Central Michigan that we focus on is learning by doing. Um, we understand and believe that um, the primary purpose of a student going to college is to learn a subject or have knowledge of a skill that somebody is going to pay you some money for. Um, so you go to college to get a job. And so what we know is that employers are looking for a combination um, of education um, and what you do in the classroom, uh, coupled with experience. So we like to take theory um, and put it into practice. So you'll spend time learning in a classroom, um, but you'll have an opportunity to actually get your feet wet, get your hands dirty um, and be able to experience things so that when you graduate, not only will you be able to say you have a degree from a university, 
um, you will also be able to say that you spent time in the field um, you spend time um, in internships. You've had opportunities to to learn um, in the field firsthand, um, it, whatever particular uh, industry that you're interested in. So we are really about doing. Doing is in our DNA, and we are very, very hands on. Um, our in classroom experiences, really live, active learning classroom, state of the art um, technology, and um, our collaborations with faculty and students. I mean, we we have our average class size is about 25 to 30. Um, with COVID and our physical classrooms, we're about 15 to 20 or so um, at the current moment. Um, but we we believe that our campus is a family uh, atmosphere, family environment where your teachers want to see you do well, where you can get one on one help, where you can get um, the opportunity to ask questions and not feel like you're a burden. Um, our teachers really um, are careful and, and letting students understand that they're here for you and that whatever help you need, um, they're, they're going to be willing to provide that uh, help for you. We have over 200 different labs on campus. Um, one of the ways that students are able to get active is on campus student jobs. Um, some paid, but a lot of them are paid. So you have an opportunity uh, to earn some money. Um, we have students that tutor um, other students in various subjects. So you can have an opportunity to build relationships through mentoring and tutoring um, and also earn uh, some money. Um, we're on the ground breaking cusp of research. Um, so rather than do things that have already been done, we are on the forefront of discovering what's new, um, trying to figure out new ways to, to, to do, do old things, um, whether that's in technology, medicine, um, business, entrepreneurships, different ways to uh, formulate businesses. So research is at the forefront uh, of our experience um, at Central Michigan. Um, we believe in a global um, lens. Um, one thing that I think is really important to your college experience is having the opportunity to study abroad, um, to be able to see your industry from another country's perspective. Um, and that's going to put you one up ahead of the competition in reference to your peers um, that will be going after the same jobs that you will once you graduate. So we have over 150 study abroad programs in over 50 different countries. Um, also, our internship opportunities. I mean, we have over 5,000 opportunities uh, for students to, to intern. And we have an Office of Career Services where we have individuals that are there who just research opportunities, um, um, have relationships with employers that they will help you find an internship. Um, and you can do that at any time uh, throughout your, your experience and your journey at Central Michigan. Um, we have clinical experiences um, like students teaching and, and audiology in, in different clinics. So again, it's really about hands on learning um, so that once you graduate again, not only will you have a piece of paper that said, hey, I took some tests and, and I did some homework, um, but you'll be able to function on the job. You'll feel comfortable with the tasks that are given to you because you've already had experiences and opportunities to do that uh, while you were in school. Um, when it comes to outcomes, again, you spend the amount of money and the amount of time getting a college degree because you want a certain outcome. Um, nine out of 10 of our graduates are working in their field or in going to grad school within six months. So nine out of every 10 of our graduates either are working in their field within six months or they go on to grad school within six months. That's a phenomenal uh, ratio there. Um, we have 235,000 alumni um, and alumni are really amazing resources. Um, individuals that have been where you are um, that may be in particular industries or having jobs that you want. And so they will be able to help you, show you firsthand what it was that they did, the experiences they had, internships that they had, um, so that you can kind of have a mentor in the field. So we do tap into our alumni um, a lot um, to help mentor and guide our um, students. Um, so we have, again, over 200 different majors. Um, leadership is very important. We are trying to graduate the country's next great leaders. Um, and so leadership is very important. Um, on campus, we are Division I. Um, we had four um, athletes that played in the Super Bowl, including um, Antonio Brown uh, the last weekend. So uh, sports are really good. We have 400 student organizations. Um, our tuition is 26,716. Um, and we do not have any out-of-state costs. So students from Illinois will pay the same amount as students from um, Michigan. 
Um, we do also have a holistic admission requirement approach, which is um, we look at GPA, we look at recommendation letters, and we are test optional right now as well. We have an abundance of scholarships available um, at our disposal based off GPA and test score. Although test optional, um, we do recommend that you submit them so that we can evaluate for scholarship opportunities. Um, yeah, that, that, that's pretty much it. Uh, again, more scholarships available. Um, Central Michigan University located in Mount Pleasant, Michigan. Awesome, thank you so much as well. We really appreciate your time here. Um, I am going to ask now for DePaul University to come on the line and take on over. Alrighty, thank you so much. Okay, everyone, my name is Jocelyn Valdez and I am the admission counselor here for DePaul University. I work specifically with students from the states of Wisconsin and Indiana. Um, so if you have any questions for me, please let me know, but we are not a one person vote by any means. Um, if you do have any questions for your admission counselor or would like to set up an appointment with us, please visit our website um, to find your counselor. But to give you guys a little bit of background about DePaul, we were founded back in 1898. Um, and a fun fact is that our first uh, class when we first opened up was about 70 students, which is very small compared to where we are today. Um, today we are at about 23,000 plus, stu 23, plus students. Um, 15,000 of those are gonna be undergraduate. And that can seem like a really big number to some folks, but we always are really proud to say that we have a learning environment for all types of learners, whether you are an auditory learner, a visual learner, or even a cut aesthetic learner. Our average classroom size is about 23 students and average student faculty ratio is about 15 to 1. So we definitely do provide those intimate settings for students to really feel comfortable to ask questions, um, be involved in the classroom, and so on like that. Um, our students do come from all 50 states, represent over 111 countries, and also represent over 30 religions. So diversity is very, very big to us. Um, but overall, we are the largest Catholic university in the nation. Oh, and something that, you know, isn't in these slides, but I always like to mention is that we do have over 80 study abroad programs. So let me know if you have any questions about that. Um, overall, our college is going to have about 10 schools and colleges. Um, these are going to be spread across our two campuses that we do have, which I'll get into that in the very next slide. Um, but our colleges are, you know, highly recognized and always do challenge our students to not only, you know, grab their academics and, you know, challenge them and, you know, sorry, my dog is in the background. <laughs> um, but you know, to just use Chicago as your background, all of our colleges are going to have um, really great honors programs. Some honors programs that I always like to mention is our struggle honors programs for students looking to go into accountancy. We do have a really great pathway honors programs for anyone looking to go into pre-professional health programs or health um, um, career fields. Um, and we do have a really great BA JD program, which is a three years for undergrad and three years for law school for anyone looking to be a lawyer. But overall, we do have over 300 programs together. To talk a little bit about our campuses, we do have two campuses. The first campus is gonna be in the loop, which is gonna be more of, you know, a fast paced environment. Um, and then our second campus is going to be in Lincoln Park, which is about 20 minutes up north. And that's some more of the traditional college campus. The loop um, is gonna be a, not too far away from the famous Bean to give you guys a point of reference. But I always like to emphasize that these are dual campuses. Um, so, you know, both campuses are going to have a library, housing, they're going to have academics, financial aid, etc. So, you know, a student doesn't have to live in the specific um, campus where their college is located. If your college is in Lincoln Park, but you want to live in the loop a little bit more of a fast paced hustle and bustle, you can go ahead and do that or vice versa. Um, included in everyone's tuition is something that we call a Venture U Pass, which is, you know, it gives you access to the CTA line that you see right here, but it also gives you access to other public transportation um, throughout Chicago. So I always tell students, feel free to go back and forth because it's unlimited rides, um, but also feel free to explore Chicago because it's the place where you're gonna have a lot to do. Um, between both of our campuses, we're going to have 12 residential communities. In no means does that mean that you have to live on campus. Um, we never require our students to do so, but typically for every single one of our incoming classes, about 71 to 73% of our students live on campus. At some point they move off just because it is Chicago um, and there's gonna be a lot of apartment availability as well. 
go into our student life um, with 28,000 students, there's going to be a lot to do here on our campus. We're going to have over 350 student clubs and organizations that students can get involved with. Um, some of them are going to be kind of miscellaneous, like, you know, Dungeons and Dragons, Game Club, Fashion Club, um, Acapella Club, and some of them might be um, major related. Um, so we're going to have like a counting club, um, a science club, etc. So, you know, if something in those 350 clubs are does not, you know, involves something that you want to do, it's not too hard to set up your own club. We also have a lot of service opportunities and campus recreation, but we are the DePaul Blue Demons. Um, if I hadn't mentioned it before, we are a division one school, part of the Big East Conference. We don't have football, but basketball is really big for us. Um, our men's basketball team does play at the Wintrust Arena and our girls basketball team does play in their own arena on our campus and all of our students do receive free tickets to all of our sporting games, um, whether they are away or on campus. And we do have a highly recognized music and theater program and they put on over 100 productions a year. I just want to, you know, show this slide really quick because, you know, being in Chicago really does translate to having a lot of opportunities and that really um, translates to our career center. Um, our career center is, you know, the backbone of DePaul and all of our alumni. They work with over 265,000 businesses that we have here in Chicago. Um, and DePaul is one of those schools where employers are always constantly trying to recruit our students. Um, here in uh, Chicago itself, you know, we have 29 Fortune 500 companies, over 400 major corporate, corporate headquarters, um, and we have a network of 185,000 alumni, um, which again translates to over 90% job placement rate. Um, so if you're you know, interested in Chicago, interested in DePaul, please let me know. Um, I'll go ahead and put my contact information in the chat. So thank you so much for your time. Awesome, Jocelyn. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it here. I'm going to ask all of our panelists now to uh, bring your videos back on because I have a question that I'd love for you to answer for all our folks here. So let me just uh, share my screen. And uh, so just starting here with our very first uh, school here, Alverno, what advice would you give uh, someone going through the college search process? Um, I always tell students um, to, if they can at all possible, you know, visit the campus. Now a lot of campuses have virtual tours and we're even, you know, able to like, I've had students that if there wasn't something that we had pre-recorded, I mean, I can FaceTime and show them what I can show them just narrowing down and then especially working with the financial aid office to make sure um, they're you know about, about costs um, so those are my two tips don't awesome. just go to school because you think it's out of out of reach work with the financial aid office that's what they're there for great marianne university what about you i would say same thing go to as many schools as possible get on campus feel the campus uh, just because you're doing it virtually doesn't mean that it's going to be the same. Uh, if you can get on to as many campuses as possible, try to get on. I know with COVID, it's a little bit harder, but some campuses are starting to open up. And Marion, we have uh, on-campus visits all the time. So just sign up and get on, on campus for an on-person visit. Uh, that's something to feel is, is what is the best. Great, thank you. Mount Mary? I would say keep your options open. Um, while you're going through the college search process, it's really easy to have one set idea of what kind of college you want to go to or where you want it to be. But explore your options and see what's out there, you know, compare and contrast the different academics available, the location, the financial aid, um, and just, you know, find something that feels right, that fits with you. Beautiful. Thank you. And uh, University of Wisconsin Platteville, what you got for us? Somehow my video is disabled, so there's the picture of me, I guess. But um, what I would suggest is don't be set on a specific size that you have. Thank you. Don't be set on any specific size that you may be looking. You think you are uh, looking for a big school, small school. Look at all of them. So look at a liberal arts school. Um, that's like 1, 1,000, 1,500. Look at a medium-sized school. Look at a large school. Look at schools that are rural. Look at schools that are in cities or urban. Um, just keep those option opens on the different types because like everyone has said, you never know when to step on, camp on foot step foot on campus, what you're going to experience, your perceptions may be totally different once you get there. Great, great. Central Michigan. 
Yes, uh, I echo uh, what everyone said. It's all, all good information. Uh, if I was to say something different, I would say start with the end in mind. Um, um, think about what you want out of your college experience, um, not just career-wise, but in reference to just growing, developing, um, building friends. You want to know if the campus is fun. It's okay to ask about fun on campus. Um, so just start with the end in mind. Um, and and uh, like, like she said, have multiple different options that are all across the spectrum. Perfect. And DePaul University, do you have anything that you would add? Oh, echoing everything. I just want to, you know, emphasize that don't be scared to ask questions. I tell my students, you know, ask me your tall, grande, venti, and I'll try to size questions because every single question has an answer that leads to a decision. So just be sure to get everything out there and get your concerns out there too. Awesome. Yeah, this is some great advice. So I just want to conclude tonight's event. Thank you all so much. Thank you to our panelists. Thank you to everyone who has signed in here, all of our attendees. We really appreciate it. Um, when you close the window, there is going to be just a quick survey with four questions that we'd love for you to answer to get your feedback. So if you're willing to do that, we'd appreciate it here at StriveScan. Um, this is also just one of many sessions along with all of the feedback from here. Check out other schools, see what's going on. We'd love for you to register for more sessions and see what kind of school is really the best fit for you. And in about a week, you will be able to find this recording right where you registered. So feel free to go back if there's anything you missed. And of course, reach out to any of our wonderful presenters if you have more questions. Thanks, have a great night.